What is up guys? My name is Thaddeus. It is currently, can you get that time? 4.17 in the morning. I have not slept yet. I have had meetings, work, projects all day long. Um, but check that out. What's that? Oh, what is that? What is that? That guys is my supercar and you know the title of this video already. How did Shopify dropshipping start or just like pay? For, for, for this supercar, right? If you saw my previous video, you know that I didn't actually use um, my current Shopify site's money for like the down payment or whatever for, for this car. You know that I use that to funnel into other projects and investments, different businesses, startups, stuff like that, okay? But Shopify is what started all this, right? I got started drop shipping. If you don't know my little like super quick backstories, I made $72,000 my first two months drop shipping on Shopify, okay? From there, I used that money to start more sites. Sorry if it's loud, the car's on, there's some cars driving by over there, but I used that money to start more sites. And then from there, those sites were generating money. I used those, funneled it into different industries, right? Because I, I just like to make stuff, um, whether that be like content creation for other brands, companies, influencers, stuff like that. Social media marketing is one that I jumped into, SaaS software um all that all that all that stuff right I, I put money into that started more things um more more projects more more just everything right and that's the money that i used for my down payment i had to put 25 30 percent down on this car um just because like age credit history all that kind of fun stuff right? i'm 19 like what the fuck so that's that um now before i get too deep into this video um if you guys have seen my previous videos, I like when, when there's PDFs or guides, I have links in the description for that particular PDF. I am shifting things, shifting gears. I put every single file, guys, into one, basically one file that's always like live, okay? So now whenever I upload a video to, to, to my channel, um, I'll put the file in the, or I'll put, yeah, I'll put the PDF in the file bin. Um, and if you guys already have access to that link, you just have to check the link, refresh it or whatever, and then you see the file, okay? So I figured that makes it easier, more efficient for me and for you guys. Um, again, the link is in the description. You guys can just get the link now. It has all the previous files um, from my past videos in there already, and it'll have the file for this video in there as well, okay? And in other news, my course is actually going to be increasing in price uh, on Monday. And I don't know what dates this is, but it's gonna be increasing price on Monday, um, just because there's there's like, like, like guys, the course is doing really, really well. A lot more, like more, um, better, gooder, like good is not a word, um, but a lot better than I had first anticipated when I was making this course. So now I'm treating it like an actual business. Um, I have, like I've been working with people on projects, just setting things up for the course to just increase revenue um, through other means. Um, and I'm adding, I think right now there's already 18 videos lined up. Fuck it, hell. I think I heard someone make fun of me for vlogging, but that's okay. I don't give a fuck, I'm in a supercar. All right, um, yeah, so I will be adding 18 more videos to the course before the price goes up, okay guys? And then um, from there I'll be continually adding more and more videos, but basically the course is getting a huge fat increase, the price is going up, um, and there'll be there'll be more information on that in just a whole separate video, but that's just an update for you guys, just to, just to let you know, right? Because information is key. Now, so, so you guys know that when I first started, I did, you know, 72K Shopify, uh, two months from there i made more shopify sites those average anywhere from you know seven to 25k a month um just depending on you know the seasonal trends just depending on what what industry each site was in they all kind of revolved around fashion that's what i'll tell you but um they weren't all directly in fashion okay from there i used that money to funnel into different projects okay SaaS software um, more e-commerce investments in other random stuff social media marketing content creation um, all that fun stuff okay and that's the money like the money that was made from that is what I used for the car okay what I used what I ooh ooh that's that's that that's the money that I funneled into this car okay so Shopify dropshipping did not directly pay for this but it's what led to that okay because like guys if if you get one or two sites popping right away from Shopify don't be stupid like I was about to be and try and buy something super expensive just from one or two sites, okay? Like, yeah, it's really good to celebrate your, your like your success and, 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 you know, like celebrate that stuff, but don't go balls deep in a purchase after, you know, one or two successful trips, if that kind of makes sense. Like, diversify, like diversify like crazy, okay? Like, I'm all over the place in, in different industries, different projects, different, all that kind of stuff. Um, it, one, it's safer, two, uh, you can make a lot more after you invest it and then you just take you know a partial amount of that money and buy something instead of using a majority of the money from you know one or two income streams to purchase you know a vehicle like that right 
So that's what I'm trying to like kind of make clear to you guys and stuff like that But in terms of Shopify and how this actually like worked and like how how I was able to get successful sites, right? Again guys, I talked to you about my process. Okay one. We're using Instagram influencers. Okay I want like I, I, I say this a lot in a lot of my videos but I want to like Get that in there like like drive that into your guys's head. Okay, so many of you guys like you even DM me like hey Can I just start with paid ads? Yeah, you can I never do but I've done it once and it worked okay, but what I'm saying is there's a process and there's a cycle that you need to follow to get these results and I tell people that and they still ask me like hey can I do this differently can I just do it? like yeah not not every scenario is the same I understand that but if you follow the, the the principle of the process you'll get your results okay so what I get what again what I do Instagram influencers okay you're finding competitors first for whatever niche niche products you're interested in you find competitors make sure there's a lot of competitors which means the industry is profitable there's money like going around okay once you know there's competitors, you're gonna like basically by finding competitors, you're finding your marketing outlets. Okay, does, does that kind of make sense? When you find competitors on Instagram, my hat just fell off. Oh god, it's cold. When when you find competitors on Instagram, how do you find them? Right? Like think about it. how do you find them? You look at other pages that would be advertising your competitors. Right? Right? So if if you're ever, like if you're if you're thinking about bracelets for for example, bracelets or rings or something, right? If you're thinking about that, where are you gonna find? You're gonna look on fashion pages, okay? On those fashion pages, you'll see competitors, you'll see them, you'll find them, and the fact that they're advertising on those pages, you just found your advertising outlets for for your Instagram, for social media, okay? Not saying that, not, not saying to go with that yet, but you have an idea of already who you might be advertising with. So once you find your competitors, okay, boom, done. You just basically that was your um, what do you call it? Messi, that was just product proofing. Um, essentially, just making sure that the products that you're thinking about, there's, there's money around there. So once you find competitors, you're good. Now you gotta find influencers, okay? You gotta find those marketing outlets that, that you can test. You look at their engagement rates, their um, comments, um, make sure they're not all just from like engagement groups or something like that, okay? And then once you find the engagement and you've sourced them again, what I usually preach is, hey, you wanna find 30, 3, 0, 30 different influencers in your industry, your niche or whatever. And then you're gonna narrow it down to the top 10 and then based on your own personal budget, you're gonna narrow down to the top five, okay? I narrow it down to the top 10 from the engagement groups, you narrow down to the top five from your personal budget, and then from there you can tweak, process, and play with again. In the, in the Dropbox link, guys, or in my other videos, you know, I talk about the PDF guide on how to actually um, like go, go with those shout out frequency, like the shout out frequency, all that kind of good stuff. There's a PDF in the link, Dropbox links, click the link below, but um, that's, that's that, okay? And then once you find those influencers and stuff like that, that's when you want to, okay, I'm making the site, I'm doing all this stuff. Once your site's done, the apps, widgets, all that stuff is installed and you've like kind of perfected or at least attempted to perfect as much as you can without actually having traffic come to your site. You know, like your, the optimization, the card abandonment, the email marketing, the email follow-ups, all that good stuff. Um, just everything to reduce bounce back rate, to, to have continuity between your social media um, funnel, like your social media to your website, right? You want that to have continuity just to decrease bounce back rate. So when people hit your site, they don't just immediately leave, leave, immediately leave. In the first two seconds, that's when they'll either like stay on the site or just bounce, right? That's what you don't want. You want, you want them to stay and buy something, okay? Once all that stuff is set up, right? Then you, you already know your, 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 your marketers, like you already know who's gonna be blasting your product. You go on Facebook, you get a pixel, you add that pixel to your Shopify site. You don't use it yet, okay? I'm telling you guys my cycle, you don't use it yet. And then after you have your pixel pixel installed, that's when you're gonna start sending traffic from those influencers to your website, okay? And once the website is taking in data, that pixel is collecting that data, okay? And when the pixel is collecting the data, again, you're not using it yet. I use, what I, what I preach, right? It depend, this is dependent on a lot of factors, like depending on how much traffic you're getting, um, how good the traffic is and stuff like that, but usually anywhere from two to two weeks to a month, okay? Two weeks to one month is how long I keep doing shout outs with influencers, okay? That, and then the pixel is picking up all that data for those two weeks, the, that one month time, right? The pixel is picking up all that data, and then once you've, once you've had that, once you've collected enough data, that's when you look into paid ads, okay? You already know your demographic. You know who's, who's purchasing your products. You know um, who's purchasing the most products based on location, area, all that kind of stuff. So that's when you create lookalike audience and stuff like that based from your pixel data on who's converting the best, okay? That's the way I scale. Uh, I'm not saying you stop influencers once that happens, you can keep doing that. But like in terms of scaling and blowing up your site from maybe you know, 200, 500, 1,000 a day, um, you use ads, okay? Like with influencers and stuff like that, Especially if you're doing a continuous shout out frequency, again, you have to really plan out your shout outs, guys. Um, again, there's a link in the description for that whole timeline kind of thing. But 
what you want to do is you have a frequency of influencers. You do that. Um, that that could be anywhere from you know fifty dollars to a thousand a day in profit, depending on how many shoutouts you're running, the quality of the traffic, all that kind of good stuff. But then after that, you hit Facebook ads. That's when you can really just blow things up. You know, ten x your revenue, five x your revenue, double your revenue. That's how you do it with paid ads, okay, guys? And then eventually, by doing that. I was able to move money from there into different sites, okay? And then from those sites, I moved into different industries. And then from those different industries, I pulled some money together and bought the car, okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay, that's, that, that's like the rundown, guys. The video has been a little bit long, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was valuable. And I hope it kind of like inspires you guys because like, so like this is still feels kind of surreal. Like I'm 19 and like I have like a freaking supercar right there. Everyone looks at me. That's kind of fun, you know. Flex, flex. Ah! But that's that. That's the video, guys. Okay. And then the the link, or like the the download for this video, I guess I could say, right? Is I think I'm just gonna make a visual, okay, of like this whole purchase that I just talked about, so that you guys can reference it and just have it like on a one little one page document that literally kind of walks you through. Oh, my hair looks disgusting. Um, like a one-page document that's just a visual, okay? Like I'm a super visual learner. I, I know I talked about it in the video. If you got it, then excellent. If you want like a little visual guide, like a little roadmap, okay, to do it, that's the link below for this video. It'll be in the Dropbox links with all the other files and stuff like that. So check that out, download it. And uh, yeah, guys, check out the course too. It's literally like the price is going up, um, I think to 697, okay? To $697 for the course uh, this Monday. But I want to let all my current subscribers know and stuff like that so that you guys can hop on the boat early if you've been on the fence and whatnot. Because there's so many people that DM me that try to get in. And um, that's that, guys. There's also news on private mentorship or private mastermind group that I'm thinking of opening up to like five or ten people max. I can't take on any more than that. I don't have time. And like one on one calls. There's, there's, there's more info on that in tomorrow's video, I think. But that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm tired as hell. I need to get some sleep again. It is like, uh, yeah, it's 4 30 in the morning in the morning i have not slept and my car is really loud i hope the audio in this video sounds good i'll be oh man i'll be upset but that's the video guys hope you enjoyed check out the course link in the description always plug but guys the price is going up so like seriously you you should hop in the value proposition only goes up and uh well the price is pretty low right now okay so i'll see you guys in the next video down the link in the description like comment subscribe i respond to everyone's comments and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys peace